For today's Creature Feature, we come to the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida for IAPA Expo. Oh, wow. That's a huge sign. This is my first time ever at the IAPA Expo. I've always wanted to do this. This year, it's finally going down. I am parking in the south parking lot today. Not so sure how much the parking is. I'm about to find out. $21.30. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, and this will be my first time ever, first experience at the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions Expo. This is the world's largest attractions trade show. We're talking about amusement parks, theme parks, haunted houses, haunted house attractions. You're going to see it when we get in there. I actually, uh, I have no idea what to expect. I know this is like four times the size of Transworld. Went to Transworld in St. Louis this past uh, year, last year or earlier this year, and I was blown away with how big that was and how amazing it was. This is so cool because they're gonna. there's gonna be a lot of things I love in there. Theme park stuff, uh, I think there's some gaming stuff, but specifically haunted house stuff. I am here to see that, and I hope to showcase all of that. I'm just gonna show you what I see. I'm gonna let the camera roll a lot. Uh, I've been wanting to come out to this thing for years. Uh, people have offered me tickets and invited me, and I just wasn't able to go for whatever reason. Was busy uh, working typically. So this year, thankfully, I'm getting inside here, and I'm, I'm really uh, excited and stoked. We're gonna head in. Are you guys ready? There's much ahead. And the entrance to IAPA is over here on the side of the South Concourse. More so near the South, the North Concourse right down there. They open up at 10. I'm about to head in there. There are vendors on the outside in the parking lot out here. I see a whole thing of inflatables down here. I don't know what I'm about to get into. I want to shout out to Courtney, the man, the myth, the legend, my friend. You may know Courtney from the haunted house industry, really good friend. He hooked me up with my pass, so. We want to give credit to him. Thank you. This wouldn't be possible. And I'm pretty freaking stoked that this is about to go down. And the show has officially opened for today. Let's head inside. But first, I see something behind me over here. Check this out. Gangu Dinosaurs Technology. Right on the parking lot. Check out these dinosaurs. These are really cool. Hey, welcome to IAPA, entrance to show floor. Check it out. Whoa. Holy cow. You just walk right in. Oh, we got some Halloween right off the bat from Ital Resina, D'Angelo Di Talia. Look at a spooky looking uh, get up here. Little train car. Dude, I love that. Chris the girl would love this. This is really neat. You got the spiders. It's a, got a little ghosty. They've also got the same thing, but the mystery machine. With Scooby on top, with the red eyes. Ital Resina from Italy. That's amazing. Oh, it's a freaking robot. Hi there. This is Pepper. Pepper? Yeah. Hi, Pepper. How you doing? Yeah, I love dancing. Choose one of my dances. Oh, is she dancing? Please step back half a meter, and please make sure that I have enough space around me. Okay, I'm gonna back up. This robot lab. It was pretty good. Does he take photos? Yep, my selfies and stuff like that. Yeah. That is awesome, but kind of freaky at the same time. Whoa! Check out Robot Lab, the largest, most experienced robotics company in the galaxy. They even have these like robot carts that'll bring you food. Can you imagine that coming to your hotel room or to your table side? All right, I'm already seeing some gnarly stuff. Wow, check this out over here. Cinecoaster, a ride like no other. Looks like you get inside this pod here. It's 360 VR. Wow. Welcome, pilots. That's cool. E racing container. It looks like you just buy this container and it comes with uh, 
a bar, several uh, places to play games, and on top there's like a lounge area. Hella ride. Video game helicopter. That's really cool. Just get in there and go flying. It's a helicopter simulator. Kind of looks like the bat cop copter from the 1960s Batman. Here at booth 611, this is Characters Unlimited. I see a lot of cool killer animatronics. You got this cowboy here, you got a Zoltar going over here. Stay alert, my friend. I left heartily and quickly for a small. Check it out, Santa Claus next to an alien. Hey, what's going on? Okay, that's really cool. Also, you got the pirate over here. There's a monkey up here. You've got the pirate's Zoltar machine. I've seen one of these before. For a good time, open the door a dollar. So you pay a dollar here. I did this in the Shell Museum in Fort Myers. They have one of these. Now I know where they got it. That's the cool thing. You, you go and see these things around uh, attractions and amusement parks, and you come here and you figure out and say, ah, I know where they got that now. That's part of the fun, too. We even have a gym mining vendor over there. Sell you a gym mine for your roadside attraction. Oh, I see the roller coaster stuff up here. There's an actual roller coaster over here. Dude, left and right, there is something going on that looks freaking gnarly. Look, it's a drop ride. That's freaking awesome. It's a twist and shout. Wow. Look at that thing go, twist and shout. It's coming back around. Dude, we can freaking ride this if we want to. That's amazing. And I'm here at O'Neill FX Studios. They are in the 1657 booth. We've got these awesome masks, these custom masks here. I see, I see uh, right there, I see Conan the Barbarian. I see a lot of cool stuff. It's very realistic silicone masks. Stuff you, if you're a haunted house vendor, you may have purchased from them. I see some stuff that looks very familiar. Mm -hmm. I like the Santa Clauses. This is very cool for the holidays. Yeah, it's a very popular mask. Wow. Yeah, check them out. O'Neill FX Studios. I like this Leatherface one. Also, you got Freddy, Dracula. I like this guy, Jack Frost. It's a really neat stuff. That, that looks so real right there. Really cool. Sort of skin locker. Oh, that comes up. Ooh, uh, dude, that's awesome. All right, so when you're in a theme park, an amusement park, and you see all the bu uh, bubble wands. Do you ever wonder where they come from? They could be from Light Up Studios. And I'm gonna show all the haunted and spooky stuff right here, the same booth. Oh wow, it's a dinosaur. There it is, whoa. All right, that's really neat. I think it's a T-Rex, maybe a raptor. So he interacts with the wands here at Light Up Studios, so it triggers the effect. That's really neat. You can bubble tag each other. You can, oh, bubble tag? Gotcha. That's neat. So the bubble wands have sensors, and you can interact with another bubble wand or turn on these fixtures like this one here, or like this one here, which is another dinosaur. Check out the volcano. So yeah, the bubble wands are the remote controls basically. They just trigger the animatronics or whatever the features are. And you can set these around theme parks, amusement parks, make it very interactive. That's really cool. All right, we love our dinos. Check out this booth. It's called Dinosaurs. This right here is a dragon. Very colorful dragon. Oh, that, that is awesome. And Santa Claus is also here at Dinosaurs. He is sold, someone bought him. He's a really cool like ceramic looking, stained glass looking blow mold. This company's really cool. Oh, check it out. There's a T-Rex. Wow. Pretty neat. He is sold too. Look, someone bought him here at Dinosaurs. I don't want to touch it, but I almost did. <laughs> That's really cool. Not just dinosaurs, but bears. Okay, these are really cool animatronics here. Looks like someone bought them too. Sold. These look really realistic from a distance. Imagine just putting these in a random place, like in a yard, or perhaps off in the distance in the trees. Hello. Okay, this is the kind of stuff I was looking forward to seeing. 
dinosaurs and it looks like it's put on over here by this company from uh, China. Wow. All right, so technically I'm all the way at the start of it along the south entryway. Just to give you a, a feel for it, I think, oh man, it just keeps going and going. And man, this thing, this is definitely the largest convention slash expo I've ever been to as far as showroom vendor floor. We got more dinosaurs over here. You can tell I really like dinosaurs. Also, more than dinosaurs. Check this out. This looks like you can ride this. This little beast here. Also, this interactive tree. This is booth uh, 4110. Another dinosaur here. You got a little panda. This is Zagong Sanhi Robot Technology. I probably butchered that name, but this is 4110. And you can download an IAPA uh, basically guide to show you where everything is, map, and to give you more information. Everything from video games to playground equipment, uh, souvenir video systems, anything your attraction might need, it's going to be here. Like a pirate ship, uh, pan mining. Oh, wow. That's really super neat. Never seen a pirate ship one before. And coldrivermining.com. Check them out. Looks like they got all your your gyms here uh, all the sand and stuff that you would need check it out water actually coming out of it right now good example coldrivermining.com oh more dinosaurs love it really cool animatronic how you doing oh uh, just just taking a look yeah all right these aren't animatronics but they're animals these are really neat. That kind of reminds me of the statues at Bush Gardens. Maybe that's where they got Giant them. Christmas tree over there. Yep, we even got Christmas here. Roller coasters, Ferris wheels, tower rides, family and kitty rides, Noble Rides. So this company, Noble Rides, builds the giant Ferris wheels that you see around the country. This is one of their pods here you can jump in. Definitely been in a pod like this in many different cities around America on a Ferris wheel, that's for sure. I'm thinking of uh, St. Louis right now. Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters. Hey, that's cool. I remember the Philadelphia Toboggan Ferris wheel in Domba, New York. Look, Hershey Park Comet. I guess they built that coaster. That's really neat. Bumper cars. That's cool. Small footprint, big profits. The leader, the reliable one. RDC. And we got game machines, claw machines, the Wizard of Oz machine, I've seen that before. Things you would see inside of an arcade. Here's the Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Also, there's a Popeye boxing game. You can actually demo these. There's some slap shot, ice hockey, classic Papa shot games, basketball games. Classic whack-a-mole carnival games. That's neat. And check this out. This is Bob's Space Racers. Kind of like a lounge area. The games the world's play. Bob's Space Racers. Whopper water. I'm just like mind blown just staring at all this stuff. This is crazy. Also, if you have a carnival or a fair or a theme park, amusement park, where do you get your prizes for your games? Looks like Rhode Island Novelty is one of those companies that will supply you some prizes. Here's some holiday ones right here for Christmas. Some big stuffies up there. And I think you can buy some of this stuff right here today. There's a cool claw machine. I got all the toys. People are taking orders. I see people making purchases. Cut to win. Oh, that's a cool game right there. Wow, look at this over here. Looks like a, a water park to me. I don't know. That's pretty cool. The fact that you can just walk in here and buy stuff like this. I don't think you can take this home the same day. <laughs> That's pretty neat. This is uh, Impex Water Toys. So if you want to put a water park in your attraction, talk to these guys. That's really cool to see this in here. I can imagine how long it takes to you know, build and break down IAPA. I, I say these people are here for at least a couple weeks, you know, total in time, full event. There's a freaking carousel in here. A carousel. That's neat. 
And if I had an amusement park, the prizes at my games would be the giant flamingo. Oh my gosh, this thing is as tall as me. Hello. Take a screenshot of Lasso here. I'm gonna think about it. I love it. <laughs> so this whole south corner on this side of the building is all games. I mean, it goes, oh wow, it's Sega. It goes everywhere at this portion. We got Sega over here. Sega. Also, I see some Disney signs, some Marvel signs. All these companies, these corporations. Oh, look at that, too soon. Rays. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Disney photo booth. So if you need a photo booth for your attraction, this company right here has many of them. We got Inside Out too. I'm sure they can wrap about anything. They got Frozen. They got Marvel, so if you've seen any of these around Walt Disney World, they probably came from this company. This is one heck of a display here, this booth. Here's our uh, smaller photo booths. Check this out. This one's kind of, ooh, that one's like a haunted house. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, imagine putting that at your haunted house, a cool photo booth, that would be cool. We've got NBA superstars over here, Godzilla VR. Stern pinball machines. I see Stern set up everywhere. I've played a lot of Stern pinball machines. They got the Metallica pinball, the Foo Fighters. I was at the Texas pinball machine uh, fest last year where they debuted that. Got John Wick, Venom, X-Men. You can play, free play. Video game overload. I am into video games, as you can tell. I, I honestly didn't realize they, had, they were gonna have so many video games here. Dude, we can freaking play this. These guys are having some fun here. Check it out, Fast and Furious Arcade. Giant screens, reactive car. This is uh, Betson, the Betson booth. This is booth 818. There are like over 5,000 vendors here, by the way. I failed to mention that. Playbox, whoa. Interactive hockey with these little balls here. That's neat. Oh wow, they got miniature bowling over here. So I recently stayed at the Great Wolf Lodge and it looks like all Great Wolf Lodges have miniature bowling. So you got the, the mini bowling balls and then you've got probably not, I, I would say it's less than half, maybe a third of the actual length of a real bowling alley and you got the miniature pins. Also they sell you the system here. This is, uh, I'm gonna, oh, this is AMF, Quibic AMF. Q U B I Quibica, Quibica AMF. I'm probably butchering that, but if I had to guess, this is the company that probably sold Great Wolf Lodge, the bowling alley. Bigfoot Mayhem. Okay, I swear I'm gonna get out of the games, but they just, it, there are so many games here, like Duck Derby. Who knew we could play Duck Derby today if we wanted to? All right, I'm gonna check this booth out. It looks pretty cool. I think it's called Thrill Builders. I see it up there on the sign. I see this escape, oh, it's escape rooms and whatnot. I see some animatronics over here. Oh, check this dragon out over here. Also this plant. Very Audrey too. Thrill Builders. And this booth here is called Daniel's Woodland, the DWL Studio Scenic Fabrications. Looks like they make signs for your tiki lounge and whatnot. Check out the sign up here. Really neat stuff. It really pops. Check out this door that they've created over here. What could you do with that door? Haunted house, an attraction. Also, there's like a Godzilla head up there. It's just a really cool booth. Looks like they do a lot of cool stuff here. They've got all the pamphlets, the cars, they got mints for you. They got catalogs. And speaking of tiki, this reminds me of the enchanted tiki room. Look at this. Tiki, 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 tiki room. Tiki, 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 tiki room. That's cool. <laughs> chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. It's playing the song from the mask. My name is Cuban Pete. That's cool. It's Gracie. Kern Studios, wow. So. That looks like Little Mermaid. I wonder if Kern Studios 
we're in charge with uh, decorating or uh, contributing to the Little Mermaid ride at Walt Disney World. If not, similar. That's the type of stuff you can do here. Buy here. All right, coming around the corner here. Oh, yeah. Now, this looks like Haunted House. Check out the display. This is booth 1667, cost. There's uh, uh, quite a few things here to look at. Check out this guy in the centerpiece. Whoa. Now, where would we set him? He would look good in the, in the house. Look, he's holding the bags. That'd be a good bag holder in your uh, grocery store, perhaps. You got like this, uh, I want to say like Aztec warrior kind of guy. Kind of, kind of gives me the Aztec vibe. He may not be. That might not be the uh, appropriate cultural description. Advanced animatronics. Whoa. What's enough about me? I'd love to have a conversation with you. Just ask one of my advanced animations colleagues to demonstrate. It's a cool robot. Look at this little robot here. Like, inspired by Around the World in 80 Days, maybe? I don't know. I just see that album there. Cool display. Attention getter. This booth is 1866. This is LF Studios, the future of life formations. And check this out, they got Papa Smurf over here. And I just bumped into another channel over here. Shout out to Ethan from Orlando Tourist Attractions, I think on YouTube. He said that Mac rides are the ones that are fabricating for Epic Universe, including the new state of the art, Universal Monsters, Dark Universe. Universal Monsters, but that's pretty cool to see them actually here. I don't see any examples of that. We might see something over here, but yeah, Mac Rides. Do check this out. Going on right now at Limitless VR. Virtual laser tag. That's really cool. Who knows what, where they're at right now? They could be in like a warehouse, on a beach, on a ship. That's really neat. Limitless VR. All right, this looks very haunting. Art FX Studios Incorporated. Check out the uh, giant octopus up there. Just looks like something you would sit, perhaps in your haunted house. This is really neat. Booth 2,884. I'm just gonna take a look inside. Oh wow, got an organ. Hi, how you doing? Wow, this is cool. Thank you, thank you. Got a pirate. Which were quite as clingy. Maybe you got a pirate attraction in, in your aquarium or whatnot. Very immersive. Look at the clouds. Whoa, what? Just kidding. I, I didn't touch it. See <laughs> also, you got the organ over here. Kind of reminds me of the Goonies. Go karts. Wow. All right, just let the camera roll a little bit. I'm, I finally reached the north back wall. So this is the north side. I have yet to even scratch the surface. Just kind of came straight back to the north. I'm looking for the Halloween and horror stuff. Looks like there's a bunch of inflatables back here. This is Aqua Aqua Adventure Tronics. All your water games. Oh, this is pretty neat. And then you got inflatables over here. Bouncy houses. You can actually get in there and bounce around if you wanted to try it out. That's pretty neato. This one's really big. Oh, it's like an obstacle course. I've done one of these before. Funlandia. Look at that slide over there. I think we could actually go down that slide if we wanted to. Whoa. There's the front side of that slide. I also got like a sports one over here. A sports bouncy house. It doesn't matter where I point the camera. There is something to look at and check out. I see a Batman inflatable way back there. Magic jump. One of the vendors here. Also, Uncle Ernie's mini golf, inflatable mini golf course. That's clever. That's really neat. Looks like it's like uh, six holes. Mini golf, how you doing? Good. And the company that makes this mini golf is E Inflatables. It's Uncle Ernie's mini golf. Looks like it goes for about 5,000 bucks. Here's an aerial view. They, you can actually try it out here. Someone's about to try it out. That is very neat. If you wanted a pop-up mini golf course, even in your front yard, it is now possible. I see a holiday inflatable coming up. Check it out. Whoa, those are two giant cups of cocoa right there. Looks like you can get in, jump, jump around in that cup. There might be like a tunnel. Oh, no, I think they're, they're both separate. That one's got a slide over there. Wrench inflatable. 
That's gnarly. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it looks like it has a slide on the other side. Check it out. They even got the devices that blow it up there, the machines, the blowers. Looks like you enter right there. Giant Grinch. And then you come down the sleigh. That one over there is like a log cap. All right, check this. It fits the theming. Monster box, $5,697. This is freaking awesome. You got like the monster coming out of the giant box. It looks like someone, someone bought it. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can get this thing into frame. Like how it has a giant lock, it says danger. That's really neat up. And it, I see like lights in there. Also right next door, this is a company called Inflatables. You got a giant T-Rex in there. That's really neat. I'm gonna take a picture of that. All right, maybe your attraction or your haunted attraction needs a mirror maze. Looks like this company here does mirror mazes and also all kinds of other stuff. All right, here at Vacoma, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Check it out. They make roller coasters. This is the Tiquani Beast. Check it out, they got the actual POV footage going. A really neat coaster. Reminds me of one I've ridden before. Reminds me of Ride of the Resistance. This is ETF, worldwide leading in trackless ride technology. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Really cool. All right, everyone's watching this thing. Whoa, that reminds me of the old school Gravitron. Oh, there's people in there, you see that? That's awesome. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I would love to do that. No, trust me, I would. All right, I've been in here for an hour and 15 minutes just in the south concourse, and I have barely scratched the surface. I'm gonna now head over to the north concourse, and that should be where all the Halloween stuff is. Also, the Transworld booth, I'm really looking forward to stopping by. All right, that's cool. Pedal all your way to the top. Virtual bikes. Race to the top. He's almost there. Almost there. Made it. Almost, oh no, there you go. All right, maybe you're a sports team. Maybe you're a theme park. Who knows? We got Angry Birds over there. Maybe you need a mascot. Angry Birds! Right here at International Mascot Corporation. They got quality mascots and costumes worldwide. They even got like a Garfield over here. Okay, I, I never thought of mascots. That's pretty cool. And I found the booth I've been looking for. Over here at 4471, we've got the Trans World booth. Halloween and attraction show. Hey, what's up, man? Trans World. That's our friend Courtney over there. Chris, the girl, and I made it to our very first ever Trans World Halloween and Attraction Show last year. It happens every year in St. Louis, America's center, right downtown. It looks like it's happening this year, February 27th through March 2nd, 2025. Check out this animatronic they got over here. It's not going. I know, I've seen this thing go before. It's really cool. Scariest thing I've seen all day. Oh, clowns. Why is it gotta be clowns? This is a really scary cloud. Also, this guy lost his hat. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Right there, it's the Grinch outfit. Watching this video over here at Transworld. I've seen a couple people come up that I know. I saw John from Hell's Gate pop in here. Also, it's a Christmas attraction show. A lot of masks. All right, so I'm headed over. There is like a pop-up haunted house in here. One of the vendors is outside of the showroom. Shout out to Courtney for letting me know over there at Transworld booth. We're gonna go over there now. Check this out. What is this, upside down house? That's cool. More dinosaurs too. Okay, this is right where you enter. I'm already in a haunted house. Haunts on. Check out this guy. We got animatronics right off the bat. Awesome. Yes. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's see if we can get him going a little more here. You got Nosferatu right in the middle. You got the werewolf. 
distortions. So you walk right in and you're immediately in a haunted house. That's so cool. There you go. Werewolf. There wolf. Oh yeah! <laughs> Love it. Wow, check out this. We got these pumpkin displays. We got this black lit art. We got Frankenstein. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Look at this, the Headless Horseman. I love me some Headless Horseman. That's a cool display. This is Dogwood Entertainment. This is their booth. Oh yes, of course, our friends at Gatorland. That's neat. I, uh, I missed Gators, Ghosts, and Goblins this year just because of the hurricanes. Screwed us up. But Chris the Girl got to go over there and experience their haunted house. Which was amazing. I watched the video. I wish I could have made it. They always do a great job with their haunt. Their family friendly haunt at Gatorland. Make sure you check that out next year. If you haven't already. Into another room here. Dude, it, we are inside the haunt. This is uh, Windhinges uh, Creek. Their booth. Now, I've been into a lot of haunted houses. I've seen a lot of, you know, medical. Um, asylum style. Haunts, really cool. A lot of the haunts I went to this year had a bunch of morgues. Looks like they can supply you the morgue doors. Here's everything that's going on here. Elevators, uh, elevator scene package. One floor indicator, call button, uh, floor selector here. So if you want to like emulate a, an elevator effect, they got you. All right, and it pops you out into here. Check it out. Look at this display. This big giant spooky entryway. Look at that clown. Oh. oh, look at that clown. Okay, that I thought that was a real person. Dude, I, I'm like, is that real? I'm so freaked out. <laughs> they got your demented uh, carnival over here. This is the best Halloween store ever. There's their information right here. This is NC9234, North Convention Center 9234 to put things into perspective for you if you're coming out here to Iapa. Check out the meat market. Oh, disgust. Liver, $3. Heart, $1.50. Kidney, 45 cents. I say that's a that's a deal. What you, oh, did you get, did you get you a skunk? Oh man, that's not right. Resurrect costumes. So we got a costume vendor over here. The costumes look pretty gnarly. Look at this right here, it's kind of, uh, it's like camouflaged to what's behind it. I don't know if you can see it. Also, look at that costume up there. I, I would love to wear that. Maybe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Not just Halloween in here, but Christmas. Check out these jack-o'-lanterns. You got cat, you got jack-o'-lantern, you got a ghosty and a skull. This company here is called Dogwood Entertainment. Check out the giant donut over there. If you got a donut shop, there you go, called Dogwood. All right, here we go. Okay, I definitely remember distortions from Transworld St. Louis. I've seen this guy in a lot of haunted houses across America. He's really cool. Also, check it out over here. They got a couple more characters. Whoop, oh, that's me. That's a character for sure. Scariest thing you've seen all day, right? That's cool. Check out this spider pumpkin down here. Jack Widow. Oh, I like that Jack Widow. Giant rat. Found corpse over here in the corner. It's still going off. Distortion. And he's spraying you. These look like the three main features up here behind the booth here. You got the, the wolf. You've got Scarecrow Wrath and the Monster Legend, Frankenstein's Monster. And now I specifically remember these from Transworld this past year, the Raptors. Aren't these guys cool? Hello, buddy. Oh, they also got aliens over here. That's neat. Ah, I think he's waving at you. Hi there, Raptor. You hungry? You hungry? I think that's a yes. What would you like to eat? Me? No. Okay, I think we're gonna get out here. Please beam us up, beam us up. All right, I'm planning to go to a few Christmas haunted houses this year. 
Yes, Christmas haunt season about ready to start. And maybe you're a Christmas haunt and you're looking for some inspiration or some decorations. Maybe you want to deck the haunt. You can do that at Nethercraft panels. These are panels that you can purchase for your haunt. Really cool backdrops and backgrounds. Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Just yeah, checking you out. Say, I have any questions. Oh, where are you guys out of? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Oh, cool. I love Pittsburgh. Zombie capital of the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that. Oh. Oh no. Uh, are you okay? These aliens are super cool. Check out distortions. Looks like this guy's going for. 1,000 buckaroos, Roswell alien, and this alien back here. He's a little more detailed. Uh, invasion of the saucer man display. He's 1490, invasion of the aliens. This one's 748, this is the jet alien. The Raptor over here. I, better, I haven't checked the price tag on the Raptor before. How much do you think he is? I'll give you five seconds to comment. Oh, maybe I'll give you a 10. All right, how much do you think he is? All right, so the Raptor itself is $6,480. And if you want the Raptor optional raw, basically the pedestal, oh, right there, you gotta add $490. So he comes out probably plus tax, a little over seven grand. Oh, I remember her. Oh yeah, she spit on me at Trans World. I'll never forget you. Still spitting. And this area, just for the haunted house stuff, not very big. Just a very small section here on the North Conquest. Conquest, concourse. It is a conquest for sure. Iapa. And here's the exit. Thanks for hanging. Right. <laughs> They've got plenty of food in here. They got pokey, sushi, in, around, inside, all over the IAPA Expo. It smells great. There's a lot of food in here. Over here, check this out. We've got draft top. We've got craft standard craft cocktails. These are food vendors. Oh, I think we could try free stuff in here. Oh, I, I even see the Icy Company over there. The Icy Company, classic. That takes me back. You can try some of their latest uh, mixed drinks over here. Someone's about ready to try them. Also, Sub-Zero Nitrogen Ice Cream. Botrista. We've got a bakery. Uh, One Touch Donut Shop. CT Bakery, freeze-dried candy. I've heard of them before. Archer Roos Wines. Soft Swirl. Those are everywhere. I think those are inside. Uh, don't get something like this, but I, this might be, that might be the company inside racetrack gas stations here in Florida. And back into the main concourse. I think I'm gonna head out to the outside lot, see what's out there. Hey, do you need your balls for your uh, ball pit? Wow! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Got a giant Rudolph over there. How about a giant inflatable that looks like hungry, hungry hippos? <laughs> That's awesome, Hippo Chowdown. This is booth 5669. I used to love playing Hungry Hungry Hippos. Okay, going outside. Ah, bright light, bright light. Wow, it just keeps going. It looks like it's mostly inflatables out here. We're gonna take a peek. I'm having a really great time. I wanna shout out to Courtney again for hooking us up today. Thank you, Courtney, you're the man. Maybe you need like a Ninja Warrior or a skateboard half pipe. Looks like uh, Spectrum Sports International's got you covered. Also, they got a climb wall. Yeah, it looks like this is mostly just inflatables out here. Bouncing angels, bounce houses. This is a giant industry. This was not spooky, but it's cool. Wild, wild west, baby. Wild west, bounce house. This one right next door, it looks like a, a volcano. It's a great place to bring the kids. They'd be the best demonstrators. Time to head back inside. That was a fun time. Looks like the show goes to uh, 6 o'clock all the way through Friday. 4 p.m. on Friday they close out. And check this out. I failed to grab one of these before. It's an actual guide map. That would have been handy. Oh, check this out. I've seen these people before. 
the Vampire Circus. I would love to see the Vampire Circus. Check it out. Traveling circus just like any other. I'm gonna take one of these uh, flyers. Best Halloween show. All right, jackpot, jack-o'-lantern journey. It's starting to get uh, pretty busy in here, as you can see. This is really neat. I think I remember seeing this at Transworld and also at the, the Florida Haunt Convention. This is booth 3062 if you're looking for it. Take a peek in here. Happy Halloween. It never ends, that's for sure. Wow. We got The Shining, Jack Nicholson. Here's Johnny. Wednesday, we got Beauty and the Beast, the Cowboy, another Headless Horseman right here. This is the type of stuff they do. Wicked, that's very wicked and relevant. Harry Potter, and this company is called Jack O' Lantern Journey. There's the name right there. You can find their information at jackolanternjourney.com. It's SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival Ride. Looks like Sally Spark Rides, or Sally Dark Rides, sorry. Dark rides. I love me some dark rides. I see Nickelodeon, Paramount licensing. This is one of the big companies. It does a lot to do in theme parks. For instance, Sesame Street Mission. Look at this. Check out this dark ride they did. Is this a new thing? Where is this? I would love to ride it. That's really cool. Sesame Street Dark Ride by Sally Dark Rides. Okay. Cool. I like this. Oh, there we go. Francis Precious Restaurant and a business once and for all. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. I'm sure you uh, SpongeBob fans <laughs> enjoyed that. All right, I'm trying to figure out why it's so crowded this area. And I just I just found out this is the free food area. Lots of free food. Samples. We got M and M, Skittles, all kinds of stuff. All right, I think I'm gonna get out of this aisle. You can even get a massage here. Whoa! <laughs> Luxury meets wellness. Fujimi. Maybe I should have. Uh, maybe I should have considered that. All right, here is the Black Light Attractions booth up here from St. Louis. Shout out to our friend Larry Kirshner, owner of Blacklight Attractions. Also, the Darkness Haunted House St. Louis. Scary Larry. Oh, he's over here. I think he's making a deal. Blacklight Attractions supplies Blacklit Mini Golf and 3D Laser Tag. They do escape games. If you remember that video, we got to walk through a few of those at the Darkness St. Louis. He's got one of the Raptors too. And, th and there's Tampa Ray. I'm changing your name. And you know what? You need to stay Tampa Ray until this Ray's re uh, situation is resolved. I'm Tampa you're Ray, protesting and you're Tampa Ray. I'm going to call you Scary Larry forever though. So Alright, I'm Scary Larry, you're Tampa Ray. You can turn around hit this three, uh, three times. One, two, three. And it'll spin around on you. He's Tampa Ray. I'm Tampa J. So I've stolen his name because he's the biggest Rays fan in the entire world. Him and Adam the Woo are the biggest Rays fans. And unfortunately their stadium got hit by a massive hurricane. And uh, from a baseball town in St. Louis, like I hope that they get to keep their baseball team. But I think he should protest and change his name to Tampa Ray. Okay. We Until might, the stadium issue is resolved. It's a sad subject, man. We might end up in Nashville and change, they'll probably change their names, but I'm hoping they stay at least in Florida. I think, I think Orlando, Orlando would be perfect because it's a tourist town. Like like Vegas. It's going to be like Vegas, really. Like Everyone goes to Vegas to watch football games. And at, the athletics are going through the same thing now. They're going to get. They're gonna be playing over there now. Are, are you a fan of baseball? I'm not a big fan of baseball, even though I'm Venezuelan, so we have... Yeah, Venezuela, yeah. like baseball is like the... It's baseball, yeah. Soccer Oil, and baseball. baseball. No, not soccer, baseball. Venezuela is baseball. Uh, but no, I'm not a big fan. What do you think about the Rays? Do you think the Rays should move to Orlando? I'm a Marlin guy. I'm a Marlin guy. You're a Marlin guy. guy. I don't care what So basically, to you're used to losing. I don't, exactly. I don't care what happens to the Rays. You're used to losing. <laughs> And giving up, not just losing, but giving up. Are you a baseball fan? Uh, not at all, no. Not at all, Tennis no. Tennis guy. 
What do you think about the Rays? Where should they go? They should go to Orlando, I think. Do you think they should go to Orlando? Absolutely, yeah. Much bigger market. You think they would do well in Orlando? Yeah, they would. They would. Yeah. But I think they should stay in Tampa, actually. That's right. I think they should go to Orlando. You know? And, and I'm going to say this out loud for my friend Tampa Ray and Adam the Woo. The Tampa baseball has not worked. Professional baseball has not worked in the state of Florida at all. And I think the only way baseball is going to work is if they do what their athletics do and move to the tourist town, which would be Orlando, and then feed feed off of tourists who like baseball. Because imagine if you're going to a you're do, going to Disney World and you're a Boston Red Sox fan and the Boston Red Sox are in Orlando playing the Rays. People will go. Yes, this is what they will. I think the team should move to Orlando. Okay, you heard it here. Larry Kirshner. And at least it keeps Black the team. Line attractions, the darkness, St. Louis. That keeps the team in Florida. It ain't no Bush Stadium, that's for It's sure. not far from Tampa, it's an hour drive. What, St. Louis? But here's no. the thing, here's the thing, <laughs> I want to mention this. If you are a Tampa Rays fan, and the team's in St. Petersburg. It takes an hour to drive from Tampa to St. Petersburg. With traffic, yeah. 25 minutes without. What's the difference? Orlando or St. Petersburg you if, got, you're, if you you're in Tampa? Well, I-4, is, I-4 is, sometimes it takes three hours to get here from Tampa with I-4. All right, well, there you go. You heard it first right here. There you go. Larry Kirshner, everyone. Black Line Attractions. I just met Patty for the first time. There you go. Hey, check it out. It's the gingerbread man. Oh, another miniature golf here by Big Sky Miniature Golf Construction. Very classic. Wow, check this out. Reminds me of Discovery Zone. Who remembers that? DZ at Discovery Zone, where I could be a kid. All on my own. Nice ball pit here, slide. This is booth 4278. It says they're a first time exhibitor. That looks fun. Also, you can climb around down here. Play ball, batting cages. Check this out. Ooh, got a hold of it there. You got a nice big screen. Side sports, entertainment, technologics. Right. So I, you know, I completely agree with you. Looks like the ball comes right out of the screen. Wow. I needed some caffeine, so I stopped over here at the booth. Got me a black iced coffee. No sugar, that's how I like it. All right, folks, here at James Boyd Lane, outside of IAPA Expo 2024. I am, I am so speechless. Big bus. That was a great time. I thought that was gonna be like, I knew this was gonna be great. I knew it was gonna be cool. I knew it was gonna be fascinating, but my mind is blown. I have really yet to like click on any IAPA videos out there just because I didn't want to spoil it. I'm just that, I'm that type of guy. And uh, wow, it's, uh, specifically love the gaming stuff. Like I could, we could spend all day over there playing the game. So I think this was a very first great experience for my first day ever at IAPA. A lot of folks showing up over here. And again, I want to shout out to Courtney of Studios 31 Concepts. Uh, great company, great guy for getting us in. Thank you so much for that, Courtney. This was an excellent time. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if it was your first time here. Uh, feel free to subscribe below. I put out a lot of haunted attractions content, haunted houses. There's a playlist on the main page of my YouTube. Also, theme parks, roller coasters, roadside attractions. I made a few connections here. I'm gonna explore some uh, attractions in Florida I didn't know about. Uh, I do all that stuff, so that's what I'm trying to say. I'm Tampa J, and there's always much ahead. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know that there's always much ahead. Come check out IAPA, IAPA Expo. I will be back for sure. I look forward to coming back next year.